One thing, if anything, that they should take away from this training is confidence in their abilities to survive a hostile situation. Assault through! Move it! The most important part of the training I think that these guys are getting is safety and weapons handling, knowing their place as combat cameramen, where to fall into a formation, how to stay out of the way when necessary, and how to integrate to become an asset versus being a liability. They're doing pretty good. They're handling the weapons very well. They've been uh, they've been able to shoot and communicate with each other, just like just like we do, as security forces. Would you be comfortable good. With That's going exactly out? what you want. Training with combat camera it helps us. That way, we know what combat camera does on a daily basis. And then also they know how we work as security forces. They can, if they have to group up with us anytime downrange or anytime even stateside, they know how we work and we know how they work. Once I get that mushy trigger, I'm gonna make a straight trigger finger and I'm going to observe it. And here I can see malfunction! Time that the instructors take with each student. If you have questions, specific questions, handling, hey, I have a problem with this, or I have a problem shooting from this thing, so this thing. They really take their time and make sure you're comfortable with the weapon. And I mean, it, makes me that much more confident. The nature of this program that Combat Camera has been running for the past several years is not only to build those skills, but to sustain them. They should be able to fall into any unit, whether it's a combat arms unit, logistics unit, any unit that they're out with, and be an effective fighter when the situation gets very bad. Move. We train to win a gunfight, all right? So keep your mind focused on winning the gunfight and we won't have any issues.